We just made these little cement planters and this little tiny cement gnome. And we also learned cement is not concrete. <laughs> and we'll show you what we learned right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do a builder to make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. Uh, this week, Kim showed me some concrete things in a magazine and I said, who reads a magazine, Kim? <laughs> Truth. And then I said, oh, we could totally make those. <laughs> yeah, so for a long time, we've seen a lot of people make projects with concrete and I mean, I've looked at them, but yeah. I have not been inspired. I can't really get behind the concrete. Well, they, all of the projects look hard and that's definitely a, a heavy thing to take on. <laughs> Anyway, but I was looking at True, an actual magazine, the Do It magazine, I think is what it's called. Yeah. And I was, it was, what was it, weekend projects? And then there were, and then, well, I guess next to that, there was an article on what can you do with concrete? And there was lots of things that they did with concrete that I actually liked. And then while we were on vacation, I was inspired walking around one of the gift shops. And you might think I'm talking about something beach related, but I am not. No, she's not. <laughs> no. Nope, I'm looking at something more along the outdoorsy, woodsy side. I want to make a little planter. Um, like little succulent planters? Yes, that, I totally lost the word succulent. I had succulent. <laughs> I want to make a succulent, a little planter to put some succulents in. And then Garrett is going to get brave. Well, we'll probably do it together because okay. I'll be all up in it. But he wants to make a little concrete gnome, standing gnome. And we're going to set a, them together. And I think it'll be cute. super easy gnome. I don't want to get into it and then get stuck. You don't want to get out of your concrete carving tools and... Concrete carving tools. <laughs> <laughs> no, not deep. I just want a quick and easy concrete gnome. And a quick and easy planter. And this mm. stuff dries in 30 minutes, so let's see what happens. Oh yeah, let's see what we can get done in 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Clock's ticking, Kim. Step one, we're gonna gather all our supplies. We needed some concrete because it's a concrete project. Something to mix the concrete in, a bucket. Something to mix the concrete with, some spoons. We need water, I don't need to show you that. <laughs> we also needed some molds, some stuff to put the, the concrete in. So we have some random bowls of varying sizes. We have these globes that were like, what, Christmas globe? Yes, Christmas ornaments. Christmas globe, turn no. Cohen is for his hat. Did I forget anything? Oh. Gloves. Important. You need these nitrile gloves because the concrete gets hot or something as it begins no, to like set. it's like the alkalines in it burns your skin or something. And our respirators, because you can't breathe that dust in. Don't need any concrete dust in my lungs. Mm-mm. Step two, <laughs> we're gonna prepare our molds. We're gonna spray some cooking spray inside of our molds. I'm using coconut oil. That way it smells good. <laughs> now, do, will it run down? Do I have to? I don't know. We'll see. I think it just needs a misting. Oh yeah, look at that, that's perfect. Yeah, look at that. Perfect oil. Like All right. Step three. Now we're gonna mix the concrete in this bucket. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna be using this uh, Satcrete fast setting concrete. It's a 50 pound bag. This is the heaviest part of the whole project. I carried it up. He did. And it's supposed to set in 30 minutes, so we will see. Um, and we did a little math and the full bag takes about two and a half quarts of water. We're gonna use a half a bag, so we're gonna be using about 40 ounces of water. And we definitely wanna wear our respirators. You do not wanna breathe this concrete dust. I think that's good. What do you think? 
Okay, yeah, no, I saw you flipping around. Step four. Now we're gonna pour the molds. All right, hold them still, Kim. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> we're just gonna kind of scoop it in. It's really not as liquidy as I thought they'd be. It's kind of like chunky mud. Yeah. Like rocky mud. Yes, it's like making a mud pie. But I guess you gotta get a move on, right? Because yeah. it's gonna start setting up. Pretty formable, actually. Yeah, like I said, it's a lot more... Chunky? Yeah, it's way chunkier than I thought it would be. And maybe it's just this type of concrete. Maybe you guys know more than we do. <laughs> this is definitely a first for us. Yeah, I have never messed with concrete. I messed with clay. Okay. Well, I think we got ourselves a concrete mess here. <sighs> We're just gonna have to let them sit and see how they come up, turn out. All right, like we'll come back in 30 minutes or let them cure, cure. Because they look a little crumbly. Let's just, yeah, let's see how they look in 30. Oh. Tomorrow. Step five, a time to demold them. They're not looking good. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, you, you know what? They look exactly like they did last night. They look like, like uh, mud pies, like old mud pies. How about your nose? And yeah, your... my nose and feet. Uh-huh. Yeah, they look, they all look rough. It looks rough. It's all right, let's see what we got. I wanna take that one out. I wanna see if this big one will go. Oh, this one, this one's good, this one's good. Oh, that one fell right out. Yeah, this one's good, but... It's coming apart, can you break it? I don't know, I think that I may be able to. I mean, it's not 100% dry, but the start, look. Oh yeah, that didn't work. I am not playing, oh, I bet I could break it all apart. Let's see if the hat comes out. Oh yeah, the hat is still breaking apart. Okay, all right. <laughs> Did not work. Maybe just got to lock the loose stuff off. Yeah, let's lock the oh. loose stuff off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this didn't work. Wait. Will that one come out? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But it's the same, I feel like I crack it apart. Here, can you hit it with the hammer right in the middle? Not my hands. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, get it. Keep going. Ah. Is that your left hand? No, I don't want to hurt you. I'm just. <laughs> 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 just asking if it was my left hand. Whoops. Oh. All right. That one's stuck in there. Well, maybe not. No, no. Not now. Not that I broke the mold. Broke the mold when they made this one. Oh wow, that one came right apart. Step six. Redo steps two through five with the right stuff. This, then we actually have cement. So what we found out is the difference between cement Mortar and concrete is what's in it. Cement is the stuff that holds it together, it's the glue. Mortar is glue and sand, and then concrete is rock, sand, and glue. So, concrete was not the stuff that we were supposed to use, although that is what the article said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, now we're gonna try again with what I think 
what I envisioned that this project would turn out to be. Yeah, a little more like we thought. Yeah, a little less rocks. So let's prep the molds again. Luckily, everything came right out of these molds, so, well, except for the salsa crock, which I was hoping oh. would survive and I'd be able to use. But I can get another one, I think it was like a dollar. Still not sure how you get in the cement out of that one. You gotta break that one. Yeah, I have to break that one. Step three, a repeat. We're gonna add a quart of water to this bucket. So I do a bucket. <laughs> Now we're gonna add the cement to the bucket. It's gonna get dusty. Looks all mixed and ready to go. Let me see. Kind of drippy. Hmm, interesting. We're not going to get a 30 minute dry time on this stuff. No. <laughs> Got this little scooper we made. This is much more what I thought it would be like. Just pouring and stuff. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to maybe tape it down. I don't know. We got to get creative here. Yeah, I think that's going to do it. on the cement. <laughs> Why'd you take your clothes off? Because I was doing delicate work. <laughs> so I need to put this in there. Oh my goodness, what are you doing? He needs to be able to sit on his head. Oh, babe. <laughs> All right. Otherwise, it wouldn't have sat on his head. Yeah, well, now I feel like you're ruining this measuring thing. I just <laughs> order new ones. You're the one that's like, here, put it in this. Anybody a Pampered Chef consultant? All right, what, do we let it dry now? Yep. All right, like 30 minutes, it says. <laughs> 30 minutes. <clears throat> Setting time, 30 minutes. It's been about 30 minutes. The cement has set up enough that it's more of a clay consistency, and we're able to form two feet and a little nose for our gnome. Six and a half hours later. Step seven. Now we demold them. And I hope it goes better than the last time. Let's start with the one that went easiest last time. All right. I take this jam wrap. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, and look. Oh, and it smells like coconuts. I was gonna say, why are you smelling it? Ooh, that came out very smooth. Aww. Oh, the ring came out kind of ringy over here. Okay, well, I didn't anticipate mm -hmm. that, but yeah, me either. we did get this mold. See, looks beautiful. I mean, look how smooth. Nice That's smooth. what I envisioned, yes. Cement over concrete. Cement over concrete. I don't know about this one. This one looks a little rough. You think so? Oh, no. Well, I can see we use the styrofoam ball that still has the plastic on it, and you can kind of see the cement. Oh. Yeah. Oh, look. The pucker. A bubble, but that's okay. The plant will be in there. Oh, yeah. Make it happen, Garrett. Make it happen. Oh. Boom, look at that. No force needed. Look how smooth that is. That's weird. That's that, beautiful. That's exactly what I envisioned. The inside's got some bubbles to it. 
But yeah, pretty cool. Look at the outside. I mean, it's yeah. perfect. Now, these tops look a little rough, but I've got something we're gonna try. All right. Hey, look at that. Cam right out. Oh, interesting. Whoa. <laughs> wow, look how shiny that is. Oh, look at that. This was just some um, that had leaked out. Can you, I don't even know, can you see how shiny that is? I think I can see a little bit of a glimmer. It's super smooth, like I polished it. I'm so much more excited now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, interesting. Oh. In one spot. Yeah, so cute! Look at that perfect little hat. Little hat. All right. All right. Now I don't know. We're gonna have. You might need some safety glasses for that. Well, let me. Let me around this edge. Smooth. I mean, look at that. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Yeah, it's, it's, it's still damp. It's still damp though. I have one last thing that I want to do. The back and sides look beautiful, but the top doesn't look as pretty. There's like... Bubbles? Yeah, it's like it bubbled up or something. Well, it's not that just that it bubbled up. It's like there's a film on top. Oh, yeah. And I read where you can sand this. So I'm going to try and sand this and make it look a little smoother. But I think we should use our masks. Step eight. Now we're gonna glue it down. I can't flip it around because there's no top. We're gonna use a little bit of this original Gorilla Glue and some hot glue. Hot glue to hold it now. Gorilla Glue to hold it forever. <laughs> so your tip is be generous with the hot glue at first so it stays there. think second time's a charm they came out beautifully the second time just like I guess Kim had in her head it is just like just like I envisioned so perfect little uh, succulents in here a little succulent garden and I wanted to sit next to a little gnome a little tiny desk well he's not as tiny as I envisioned he would be <laughs> he's not as big as I wanted him to be <laughs> but now that we've got this figured out, I mean, look how smooth yeah, this cement is. That's surprisingly smooth. We are inspired. Garrett already had some ideas, so now that we think we can make it work, I really want to do some cool things with Halloween. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. I got big dreams or big <laughs> nightmares for Halloween. <laughs> make we'll some molds, some concrete yeah. things. Oh, big ideas. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll have time to make them because I think... Now I'm, now I'm excited about concrete. I want to do something a little bit more. I'm not intimidated anymore. The first <laughs> time around, I was like, what is this stuff? But this stuff was just kind of like poured and set. You just got to have a good mold, I guess. Yeah, that was it. And it popped out of these molds just perfectly. Yeah. Well, this one took a little more effort, but... Yeah, peeled right out, though. Nothing if you really were to use a bowl stuff. like we did and yeah. use that little cooking spray, came right out, no problem. A little... Uh, 
little bit of that coconut oil goes a long way. I was worried about bubbles and having it settle, but they don't really have any bubbles yeah. in them. Looks pretty good. And I sanded the top. I don't I don't want to tilt this now because it's got dirt in it. But the sanding of the top also took that little film that was on top right away. So yeah. next time we're gonna add a little paint. Oh I think we could do a little paint. Getting crazy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Alright, well it looks like this time we're about out of time. So if you're not joining us for the patron after show, then we'll see you next week. We'll do it, build it, and make it again. I can't balance him right now. Yeah, nope, he's still got glue. Yeah, I don't trust it yet. I'll balance you later. <laughs>